show that in a group of 10 people where any two people are either friends or enemies, there are either three mutual friends or four mutual enemies. And there are either three mutual enemies or four mutual friends. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with, I'm going to let A, I'm going to let A be one of the 10 people. Right, so we know that nine people are remaining. And what does that mean? Using the generalized pigeonhole principle, we know that A has at least okay. I'm going to use this notation because we want to find among the nine people uh, at least how many will each box out of the two that we're dividing into will have all right so this this gives you basically 4.5 and and by definition what we want to find we want to find the greatest integer uh, the smallest integer greater than or equal to 4.5 right so that's going to be 5 so what does that mean that means we have at least 5 friends for a or at least five enemies or at least five enemies right so now what is that gonna do we're gonna start with the first case the first case is that B, C, D, E, F are friends of A. Okay. Now, if any two from these people, if any two are friends, then Uh, those two and A are three mutual friends. So mutual means among that group of three people, everyone is a friend with, with someone else, right? So each any pair that you're going to get, there will be three pairs, right? All three pairs will basically be friends, consisting of friends, right? So that's what mutual means. So A with those two, any two, if any two are friends, with A that will be three mutual friends. Otherwise, what does the otherwise mean? That means no two from this group of five are friends. All right. So otherwise, if no two are friends, that means all of them are mutual enemies, right? So we're going to say there are at least, there are at least, five at least four mutual enemies right because if five of them are mutual enemies that means four of them are definitely mutual enemies right so at least four are mutual enemies all right so now that's that now let's consider the second case because we showed case case one let's put that in red case one and now we're going to show case two. Let's actually use another color for that. Let's use green case. Case two. So case two is obviously that B, C, D, E, F are not friends of A or enemies, right? So A is enemies with B. C, D, E, F. Okay, so now we're gonna now we're gonna require nested cases. Now, what do nested cases mean? That means these net nested cases will be subcases of this second case. All right, so we're gonna name it case two A. So case two A. So case two A 
will involve taking out the B and thinking about how many friends or enemies the B will have. Now notice that each one of the uh, nine people or ten people will have at least five friends or at least five enemies, right? So we can say the same thing about B. We can say B is friends with C, D, E, F, G. All right. Now, if any two from this group now, if any two are friends, we have three mutual friends. Three mutual friends with B, right? And those two, right? Because B is a friend of each of these five, so if any two are friends, then B and these two will be three mutual friends. Now, otherwise, again, this is just like in the previous cases we decided, right? So otherwise, that means no two among this group of five are friends. We have at least, there are at least four mutual enemies. Now, why at least? Because there will be actually, um, you know, uh, six of them, right? Because A, um, well, not six of them, but at least four. Well, at least, we're going to say five, right? We're going to say five. We're not sure if G is enemies with A. It might be, it might be not, but it's not listed here. But we're definitely going to say at least four are mutual enemies, right? There will be exactly five in this case, but at least four is still okay. Because we need to prove that there are four mutual enemies, right? So at least four mutual enemies, right? So that's pertaining to case 2A. Now, what about case 2, case 2B? Now, case 2B will tell you B is enemies, right? Because B is friends, now B is enemies. B is enemies with... C, D, E, F, G. Now, what does, that, what does that tell us? Now, we're talking about enemies. So, we're going to select if any two from this group are enemies. If any two are enemies, uh, with A and B, with A and B, it makes four mutual enemies right because if any two are enemies b is an enemy with them so that's three and also a is enemy with b right okay so it makes four mutual enemies otherwise otherwise there are there are at least there are at least three mutual friends. Now, why at least? Because if none of these are enemies, then there will be at least three, right? In fact, there will be five mutual friends. So that means at least as possible, at least three mutual friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. See you in my other videos.